So I'm going to give you a quick example of how the Fast Wool Credit Pro plugin works. Now on this page we have a product that's been listed, it's a hypnosis download and we can basically add this to cart as normal and you'll see it appear in the sidebar. Now this is basically a normal listing but if we go and look at the website where we're logged in and you can see that there's actually now a credit balance here. Now this is added with a short code and you can see that the price has now changed to have a balance of 10 credits. So if I add this to cart as normal, you'll see that the product has been added to the cart, but the total of the item is 10 credits. And if we go check out, we can see that the credit balance is here. So we're reminded of how many credits we have and we can see the value of the cart items and the total. And then we can basically just place that order and you'll see the order has been processed and the order value has gone through as 10 credits. Now we could, if we wanted, change the site. So you saw on the front end that the price is still in a currency amount. We could actually change this to be a credit only purchase so that the only way to purchase that product is by using the credits. If we go into our credit purchase gateway, the payment gateway for this uh, Fast Food Credit Pro plugin, we can check credit only store. And then if we go back to this listing, and we can now see that the price has changed to only being in credits and we can either add it to cart or buy credits. And we're, we're told up here we don't have a credit balance. We're not logged in, so we won't have any credits anyway. But if we want to buy credit, we can actually buy credit hitting that button and we're taken to a page where we can actually purchase credit so we would set that in the um, payment gateway so we can actually set the URL for the credit top up and also change the button text for this and then we can actually change some of the text on the payment gateway itself so let's have a look at the product itself the listing for the product so we look at the product listings and we can see here we've got an overview of the prices and if with stuff's on sale we can see the sale prices that's all normal but then we can see that they actually the products that are for sale with credit we can actually see the credit value so let's quickly look at how we actually sell the credits now you can see here there's a credit pack product that i've already created so let's just quick let's just quickly look at this and you'll see the options now i've set this as a virtual because there's no need for it to be shipped and basically we've just left it on simple product and all we need to do is put in the price and enter an amount under the fast product credit box and basically this will be the amount of credit they get for that price and all we need to do is update that product and it's pretty much ready for sale so every, whenever that product is purchased there's going to be 100 credits awarded to the customer you can see i've already got 85 credits here but if i add that to cart and then I checked out and purchased it, I'd get another 100 credits added to my credit balance. So if we now go back to our products listing, so we can go into any of these products or we can update some of the existing ones. So let's go and look at a new product. And you can see here, we've got some options. So basically we can then set this as a credit purchase. So this will allow the product to be purchased with credit. And then we have some extra options so we can see the box has changed to be the credit value this is how much the product is worth in credits so maybe we want to sell that for five credits and then we have another option here so you saw that we can add stuff to cart and that would be added to the cart and we can check out with it now if we go back to that product and we can select instant credit purchase and then we can actually remove the add to cart and have a url where they are taken to after they hit the button so I'll show you in a second so we can change the text get with credit so if we now look at this product you'll see that it's now a get with credit product whereas on the other product we can actually add that to cart and it will be appear in the shopping cart and we'd go to the checkout whereas on this other product we if we press get with credit the product is immediately deducted from the credit balance so you can see it's now gone down to 85 and it's been processed through the orders so we'll have a look at these orders as well so you can see that that order has gone through at a zero balance 
but the actual order amount is for 10 credits. So within the WooCommerce sales, we know that the orders are not being duplicated so that we know that once they've paid for a credit purchase pack, then we know that the balance has been deducted from the credits and not been added to the orders actually received in the site. Now, if we come back into our products list and you can see that we've got the two products that we've edited. So one's got 10 credits, one's got, one's got five credits. Now, you saw me set up the credit pack. If we have a, the WooCommerce subscriptions plugin installed, we can actually edit this. And if this is going to be a subscription based product, so we can see that we've set the, the price of the product and we can set, we've set a value of 100 credits for $79. We could turn this into a subscription product. So if we select simple subscription, we can now set up our subscription settings and leave the credit value there. So maybe we want to have that as $79 every month. And provided we have the WooCommerce subscription plugin installed, this option will be available on that, on that particular product. And then every time someone purchases each month, they're going to be awarded this amount of credits. And finally, I just want to show you how the credit balance works for the customers as well. So within the My Account page, you're going to see a credit balance as a customer of what your running balance is. And this can be edited by the admin. So if we go into each of the profiles, we can see on here that the credit amount is here. And this can be manually updated. So I can update that to 100 here. And then update the profile. And the customers will see the balance reflected within their account. And then if we go back to the admin and we look at the users, we'll see here each user has a credit balance against this list so that we can actually order this list by the credit balances. So you can see the number of customers on your site with the most credits or least credits. And then there is the short code that can be added anywhere on the site. So I did it in the widgets. So you can see in the sidebar here that I've just added a text. And all I've done is added the credit balance and then there's a short code here that's for the actual amount. So that can be added anywhere on your website. So hopefully this explains how Fast Wheel Credit Pro works. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we're always available to answer any questions you have. Otherwise, hit the order button and I look forward to connecting with you as a customer.